Alrighty guys, so today in this video, I wanted to publish this video because I wanted to give you guys something that was super impactful and took a very short period of time, but was super helpful for your input lag and your frame rate consistency and smoothness. And so what I'm gonna be talking about here today is the Windows 32 Priority Separation Scheduler. And what this is, is that it essentially controls the amount of time and the rate at which a process is allowed to be done. And this includes all processes. And so what this basically means is that in Windows, you have to essentially, uh, any sort of software has to essentially control how fast something is updating and how long and what are the sort of parameters that it can do for a certain process. Because you guys got to think that there's like a hundred different processes and each one of these processes is going to take a certain amount of time to complete even at a microscopic level or a nanoscopic level at this point. And so that's essentially what this is. And there's a lot of posts online about this where it is able to crazy reduce input lag even on a system like mine because after doing this tweak, this was easily some of the most impactful things that I've ever done to my system is this right here. And so I wanted to draw this on a more demonstration just to kind of give you guys an idea just in case you were confused. And so I threw up this really budget version of paint here. And so what this essentially is, is you can think of each one of these boxes as the, let's say the process. And each one of those processes is essentially a packet of data. And so obviously you can see the middle bar right here, which says time for Windows processes. And so we'll call this, let's say one second. And within one second, you can have a, a million different processes that all need to be executed in some certain way. Well, what this essentially means right here is that short stands for the size of each packet. And what that means is that essentially it is the size of it in terms of the, like the amount that it's going to be. And so short essentially will be this one, and then long will be somewhere that's much larger than this because it's the size of the packet. So if that makes sense to you guys, and then if we move on from here, the fixed essentially means what this would look like or what this would look like, where each one of the processes has a set period of time and only can be done in a certain period of time. And so if you think of it this way, where this process is about three processes in terms of from the difference of uh, packet size, this essentially is what this is on a different foreground boost or essentially a different priority scheduler. And so this one can be more heavy taxing on your CPU, but it is more responsive. The best way I can describe this is think of this like Hertz or pulling rate. That is almost exactly what I would describe this as because this essentially is the time in which Windows processes are being changed and updated. And the reason why this has such a dramatic change in your input lag is because if you think of all of the different processes, like let's say a frame being delivered to your screen, and let's say you having to click on an enemy's head, well, we may have 10 different processes that are all going to occur in nanoscopic time. And what that means is that essentially we have to divide this into a function that works well for all of these processes because we have Windows processes in the background. And so what this does essentially is it changes the way that Windows at a base level beneath everything else, it changes at a base level how Windows schedules everything. And so this is why people always report that changing this value in here to 2a or something that's like short and fixed dramatically improves their input lag and their frame rates and the games look a lot smoother the reason why is because essentially it changes that process time and so another thing that you'll see is the foreground boost this is actually why you guys might want to check out the other video that i'll have linked in the description of this video for the process lasso because what that little star right there is, is the Windows Dynamic Thread Priority Boost. And so when this is enabled, this essentially says for the Windows Scheduler, hey, this is what I want this thing to run at. And so when all of these are selected, you essentially can have complete control over how Windows manages these processes. And so, yeah, guys, one of the main things that you'll see, the comment section, for example, this tweak is so good. Thanks for bringing it to my attention. And this is actually inspired by a bunch of other people's posts on the forums. And you want to have it to where if you can test this out, you'll, your system might be different than mine. My system, because it's so well controlled and everything has been completely locked down 
from the windows processes on each core to the interrupt affinity on each core all the way down to the bios level where i'm tweaking the actual like windows timings and the bios priority stuff all of that has been completely locked down and so short is what i would want but you may not want short you might have a slower system or you might not have essentially a higher demand the trade-off between the two is that short seems to have the best responsiveness but it can be more taxing on your system long tends to be more smoother but it has a penalty for responsiveness variable seems to kind of be 50 50 so that one is kind of up in the air but in terms of foreground boost a high foreground boost is generally what most people are saying right now but if you don't do a high foreground boost then just do no foreground boost and so what this essentially means is that each packet of data or information so let's say that this line is a representation of the amount of time that overwatch needs to access well what that means is that if overwatch needs to complete an entire frame it will have three times the amount of time or let's say packets of information to finish that process and so that means that it has the highest priority of any process because it has all of the time it needs to make sure that that frame is delivered on time accurately and that it is delivered in a way that is not cut off or that the frame is different or that the input lag is essentially botched and so yeah guys that's what i want you guys to do and if you guys liked this video please comment and make sure you guys share it with a bunch of other people and one last thing the way you can get to this is you just type in regedit on the bottom of your system right here and then i'll show it from here you go to h key local machine system current control set control and then you're going to want to go down until you see priority control and then you're going to want to change this value and go to modify and then you're going to want to select hexadecimal 2a and i will link this guide right here also in the description so you guys can use the same guide and you guys can test it out for yourself because yours might be different and so yeah guys this is probably one of the craziest fixes that i've ever found for improving your system responsiveness and this should especially be done for people that have high-end systems because you guys are not struggling with cpu performance you guys have plenty of cores plenty of system updates and so you guys want to have the most snappy responsive system kind of like you want to have when a high-end system you want to have a nice high refresh rate monitor a nice high refresh rate let's say mouse all different things you want to have high refresh rate high frame rate high everything and so this is what i would describe as like a polling rate or a refresh rate or essentially an update time and so yeah guys i hope this video helped you out please leave a comment in the description below what system you're running and how this helped your performance and let's kind of get a discussion going on this because it seems like it's been different for a bunch of different people but there are certain values that have favorites anyway guys have a good one my name's savaterix and i'm out